In the attempt to translate immensities, it becomes a nearly impossible task to bring forth the most important messages contained within such a vast ocean of knowledge without potentially drowning any who might be ready and willing to hear them. In this metaphor, each of us is like a cup attempting to contain that ocean. This is often why many give up the search for deeper meaning, since the search can be inferred to be endless. And if it is endless, then why bother in the first place? Who begins a journey where they can never reach the destination? That's what it seems like. But when one acquires the insight that each of us is an immensity, the impossible journey begins to show a pathway previously unseen. A pathway to transcend one's limitations and set forth on the journey towards becoming that which has no limits. To become the ocean. It can be easy to become overwhelmed by the sheer enormity of it all. And it's also just as easy to deflect or filter what is being presented. And when that is done, the implications and the essence of the message are once again lost. This is often why parables have been used in the attempt to condense down the essential meaning of the great mystery of our being. I am going to recite one such parable which does just that. One day, a beggar finds himself at the door of a great emperor. And just by chance, the emperor who is going out for a walk answers. The emperor impatiently asks the beggar, what do you want? The beggar remains steady and replies, Before you ask me that question, you had better think twice, because you will not be able to fulfill it. The emperor is astounded. Who is this beggar that states something like this with such authority? This emperor has fought wars, conquered nations, and rules with impunity. It has been made clear that no one should talk to him in such a manner. The emperor is clearly disturbed and sets out to prove the beggar wrong. You must have no idea who I am. I am the emperor and I will be able to fulfill anything that you ask of me. The beggar says, you see this? It is my begging bowl. I would like for it to be filled. It doesn't even matter with what you fill it with, but my only condition is that it is filled to the brim. You can still decline what I am asking of you, but if you say yes, you will be taking a great risk. The emperor laughs. Just a beggar's bowl. Just to show off his vast wealth, the emperor acquires enough diamonds from the treasury to fill the bowl. The beggar replies, Are you sure? You had better think twice. It soon becomes apparent why this warning was given, for as soon as the diamonds are poured into the bowl, they disappear altogether. The emperor's servants were watching all of this unfold and quickly spread word about what was happening. Soon, a great crowd was gathered around and the emperor realized that this lowly beggar was threatening his superiority in being unable to fulfill a simple request. More diamonds were brought and again, they all disappeared. The emperor was clearly unnerved. Bring out the entire treasury! All the gold and silver. Everything. My entire kingdom and integrity is on the line. It all disappeared into the bowl. Every last bit of it. And that very evening, there was in actuality two beggars. One of them formerly an emperor. Having nothing left to lose, the emperor pleaded to be told the secret of the bowl so as to at least satisfy his curiosity. The beggar replied, there is no secret. It is simply a human skull, which I have shaped and polished into a bowl. Everything you pour into it disappears. The parable is significant. It is significant for those who are beginning to comprehend the paradox that was created between the heart and the mind, which is the totality of the problem. The heart, which is the earth, is the entire treasury which is being consumed entirely by the mind. The paradox of everything eventually becoming nothing. It is the treasure chest, and of course the chest is where the physical heart is located. The difference is total. The heart does all that it takes, and the mind just takes. For the one is the false emperor, and the other the true king that has been reduced down to a beggar. Many believe in the Sultan of Deceit, 
and its lies of individualized prosperity at any cost. The treasury be damned. There is so much success to be attained, so many monetary numbers to acquire. Yes, the mine really has done a number on the earth. Everyone wanting their piece of the 3.14 pie. The begging bowl that can never be fulfilled. One can never become the immensity if they believe in the ideology of destroying it. It is as simple as that. We really are at a crossroads, the final hour, and the weight of what is to come is going to be enormous for everyone. Some are perhaps beginning to glean the actual implications about this, but it is obvious that most do not see it at all. Time is indeed of the essence. I have done a lot of talking up to this point, but in less than two years, this heart is going to be doing a lot of walking, walking the pathway that will lead to immensities. The next work is going to be presented shortly. Those who have sought the truth may become astonished to realize that everything comes full circle. One is not separate from the whole. The implications of this, though, are heavy indeed. There is a price for everything, whether or not one knows it. On this day, I will do my best to respond to everyone.